So we have come along in the Python course. We have talked about data types. We have talked about data structures. We have talked about control flow. And then we've also talked about how to compact your code writing functions. I think now it is the time also to introduce you to Anaconda. Anaconda will be a local installation of Python. You will not be dependent on internet for your Python programs. And also with Anaconda, there are a lot of many functionalities that come in. It includes your Jupyter Notebook, which is uh, one way of writing the code. Then it also has a Python integrated development environment that is called Spider. With an Anaconda installation, you facilitate uh, a lot of many things which we'll talk of as we go along. So let's say how to install Anaconda and what are the advantages that come with Anaconda. So we go to anaconda.com. This is where the downloadable files for Anaconda installation are present. So here we are at anaconda.com. This is the website from where you can download the executables for installation of Anaconda. It is clearly mentioned here that Anaconda offers the easiest way to perform Python, R data science, and machine learning on a single machine. Start working with thousands of open source packages and libraries today. And here you have the download button for Windows. And if you go towards the bottom here, you have download for individual Windows operating system, the Mac operating system, and for Linux, right? I have a Windows system, so I will download from here. I can click on download, and this will start my download for the executable files for installation of Anaconda. So here you are. This is the executable file, Anaconda 3-2022.10. Uh, this is the version, and uh, this is the Windows version with for 64-bit computer. And you can also see that this is already present in my uh, directory because I've already installed Anaconda here. This will take some one to two minutes for download, so you need to wait a bit. And then, of course, once the download is over, you need to start installing by clicking on the executable files and then follow the instruction. So there is a detailed instruction manual to how to download and install Anaconda. So if you go to uh, docsanaconda.com, you'll be finding this documentation, Anaconda documentation. And here you have detailed instructions on how to install on Windows. And this also gives you uh, basically a window-wise view of the installations. So once you double click on the executable file, it will ask you to choose a location where you want to install. Uh, this should by default go to your C drive, but in case you want to change the location of your installation, you can browse and select where you want to uh, install, right? So if you see here, my download is complete. I can double click on this to begin my installation. So if you see, this is loading now, and this will open up the installation dialog box and ask me to install Anaconda on my system. The setup will guide you through the installation of Anaconda 3, and then, of course, you click on Next. Then this is the legal statement, and basically, you need to click on I agree. So you click on I agree and move on. The installation can be for all users or it could be just for you. So what is recommended is just me. You can say next. Most Next, it will ask you where to download the folder. And uh, in my case, it is already downloaded, so I won't go beyond this. But the process is very simple. You have to mostly click on the next. And then, of course, uh, there is a finish button that comes where you click on finish and your Anaconda is installed, right? So I'll exit from the installation here. But of course, you can continue and install Anaconda on your system. And in case you have problems with the installation, there is a detailed instruction that is present at the Anaconda website. This is called docs.anaconda.com. This is the Anaconda documentation where you can go and again, follow the instructions so as to ensure that your installation is correct and without any problems. So we are not going to install Anaconda in commercial settings, so we do not have to purchase a license. We will be using it more as an academics uh, interest, so therefore license is not required. Then, of course, you read the licensing term and click on I agree. Then, as I told you, there will be an option for whether you are installing for yourself or for uh, everybody who uses the laptop. In, in that case, you'll have to be logged into your administrator account to allow the installation. So after you've selected the folder where you want to install Anaconda, the next dialog box will prompt you to give you two inputs. One is add Anaconda 3 to my path environment variable. And if you see here in the instructions, it is said, we do not recommend adding Anaconda to your path environment variable. So this one you can leave unchecked. The other one is register Anaconda as my default Python 3.9, and this comes by default as checked. 
and you can go by defaults and click on install right that will now start installing your anaconda onto your system so you will also have an option of uh, installing data spell which is not so important so you may click on next and move on and finally after a successful installation you will see the thanks for installing anaconda dialog box so here you are and you can click on finish that will finish your installation of anaconda right if you wish to read more about anaconda.org and how to get started with anaconda check on the boxes anaconda distribution tutorial and learn more about anaconda click the finish button and congratulations your anaconda installation is done and this is going to make your life very easy with respect to data science So let's see what you get once you have installed Anaconda. So we had downloaded the file and then uh, double clicked on the executable file once it was completely downloaded and then of course followed the instruction to install Anaconda, right? So now let's see what Anaconda is, right? So Anaconda is the world's most popular open source Python distribution platform. So when you install Anaconda, the Python latest version is, is installed by default. So this is open source, user-friendly and highly trusted. And the important thing with the installation of Anaconda is that many of the Python libraries that you may have to install otherwise get installed simultaneously with Anaconda, right? So here you are, you have the Jupyter Notebook library that is available. You have SciPy, you have Spider, which is an integrated development environment for uh, writing Python codes. You have NumPy, which is the numerical library in Python. You have Pandas, which is uh, the data analysis library in Python. You also have Matplotlib, which is the graph library in python that gets installed automatically when you install anaconda then you also have conda pytorch tensorflow lumba holo views and so on and so forth these are the libraries that you'll be using for data analysis and machine learning and artificial intelligence programs an important package and environment manager that comes along with anaconda installation is called conda we are on my desktop and you can see it is highly cluttered uh, ideally you should not have too much of uh, things on the desktop because it's very clear part of your c drive but of course if you no notice that your computer is running slow the first thing you can do is to uh, remove the cluttering from the desktop and move these files and folders into some other partition also uh, you could remove your temporary files so we'll talk of that some other time but for now let's look at anaconda right so I come to my search bar and search for Anaconda. So I say A-N-A-C-O-N-D-A -A -A, and it gives me the Anaconda Navigator. You can double click on this and that will then take you to the uh, utilities that are available through Anaconda installation, right? So, so Anaconda Navigator is going to open up the interface for the application that you want to launch from Anaconda. So let's say you want to launch Jupyter Notebook, which is what we're going to now continue with. So you say launch here. And this will open up the Jupyter Notebook in your favorite browser. And there you are. So this is your Jupyter Notebook. And I can start writing my program here. And I can say new and start writing my program. I'm using the Python 3. So I can say Python 3. And here I am in my tab where I can start writing my new program, right? So here I am, these are my cells, I can start writing my program. So this uh, look and feel is very similar to what you have in case of uh, uh, Google Collab. And then of course you can start writing in your cell, you could select your cell, you could add cells below, add cells above. Here you can give your title of the program, whatever title you want, let's say python1.py, so you could do that. By default, it will take the uh, PYNB. 
extension, right? So this is the look and feel of Jupyter Notebook. It is very similar to Google Colab that we've been using, except that now it is on a local system, so you don't have to be on the internet to work on it, right? Uh, here is your cell. So the first cell is open by default. You can say print. And again, in round brackets, you could give your statement in double quotes. Welcome to Dr. Wiffens. Biotechnology Classroom. Class two. There you are, right? And then of course you could say run cell. So you say cell and you say run cell. And here, welcome to Dr. Wilkins Biotechnology Classroom. And we'll talk more about the utility of Jupyter Lab Notebook in the next lecture. So Anaconda also gives you access to integrated development environments for Python. For example, you could use PyCharm or you could use Spider. So let me just launch Spider from here. So if you say launch here, so Spider is an ID just like uh, RStudio and it works basically with giving you three quadrants. In one quadrant, you can write a script. In the other quadrant, you can look at your variables and in the third quadrant, you can run your script and see the output of the running of the script. So the spider is getting launched and uh, you'll be able to see it in, in some time. So here you are, once your spider is loaded, you get something like this. You have three quadrants. The first quadrant is where you can load your script and start working, writing your script. And you can see it is color coded and everything. So that makes it very nice. And also, it, so I'm sure those of you who have used RStudio would uh, have an immediate recollection of how RStudio uses four quadrants. So here there are three quadrants. This is a scripting area we can, where you can load your script or write your fresh script. Uh, this one here is where you see your variables and uh, their values. And the third quadrant or the bottom most uh, uh, right quadrant is where you see the output of your program, right? Everything available in one screen space with proper compartmentalization. So that makes your life a little easy to work with. PyCharm is also uh, similar, just that the look and feel is slightly different. Then there are settings that can allow you to personalize your experience of the IDE. So you could have different color schemes. You could also move your products from one place to another and so on and so forth, which we will discuss in due course. So this is a spider for you. Then you could also basically call for what is known as the PyCharm, right? So here you are. If you see, you can launch PyCharm from here. PyCharm is another integrated development environment similar to spider. And uh, it has been very popular for some time. So you could have, you could use that as well, right? So let's load the pie chart and have a look of the look and feel of the pie chart. Pie chart comes to us from JetBrains and it is loading here. So it will then open up as a uh, integrated development environment for Python, right? And then in the next lecture, uh, another utility that comes with the uh, Installation of Anaconda is Conda. Conda is both an environment manager as well as package manager and has its own utility. We'll talk of it in details in the next lecture. So this is a look and feel for PyCharm. And when you run this program, which is basically looking at the amino acid composition. So you can just click on run here and it will ask you for, so there is a console that opens that asks you for the input. You could give a protein sequence, let's say, W A T G C C W, right? And press enter. And this goes to the composition of the protein, right? So, with the installation of Anaconda, you have installed the latest version of Python, that is Python 3. You have also installed uh, Anaconda Navigator, that gives you access to several of the Anaconda apps like uh, Jupyter Notebook. Then it also gives you access to Python integrated development environments like PyCharm and Spider. We'll keep talking more about these as we go along. So before closing, let me make a request again, and this is a, a difficult part, but let's uh, try it out. So please do like, subscribe, and recommend my channel to your other classmates.
we stop here and I see you again in the next lecture where we'll talk more about uh, these uh, utilities and also a new program. Thank you very much and uh, stay connected.